There's a teacher shortage all across America, including here in Kelloland, and it could only be getting worse. A recent study by the Economic Policy Institute found fewer students are pursuing careers in teaching, and those who do, nearly 30% quit teaching within the first five years. In this morning's Eye on Kelloland, Don Jorgensen digs deeper into the reasons, into the reasons why, and finds out what school districts are doing to attract and keep more teachers at the head of the class. Kaylee Cook taught school for eight years. At first, she thought it was her passion, and the hours would give her the flexibility she was looking for in a career. Because I really wanted a family career, something where I would have weekends off, holidays off, summers off. But when she had her daughter, she began to realize even those hours became too much. And it was really difficult for me to go back um, after being home with her for 12 weeks. The time and commitment, she says, were overwhelming at times. Really, throughout the whole school year, you are very tied down to teaching, and you really dedicate all of your time to your students. I just didn't know if teaching was for me anymore and really wanted to stay home with her. Then, when she had her second child, she finally convinced her husband it was time to step away and stay home. But Cook is not alone. The passion, I think, when it left me, it was time to kind of do some soul searching as to which direction I wanted to go. Dave Dreesen taught school for seven years, but now he's a real estate agent and property investor. I started uh, getting involved in real estate, and I think my passion switched a little bit. Um, I felt sometimes I wanted to answer that call more than the call that involved teaching and coaching. So that kind of steered me in that direction. A growing number of school districts across the country are struggling to find teachers. We, we work so hard in the schools to help students uh, be introduced to so many different careers and, and maybe look at some interest in some of those careers. We've never really done a lot to help them be interested in the career of education. So the Sioux Falls School District has implemented a number of new programs to try to lure students into becoming teachers. One is called Teacher Pathway. They'll go and work with elementary students um, in the classroom one day a week uh, for, for during that class time. It's a little bit of an extended time, but they'll go and work with elementary students. So we pair them up with an elementary and they go in there and, and work with those students in the classroom and the teacher. Nold says it's showing signs of success with over 100 students enrolled in it right now at all four high schools, including New Tech. The district has also been offering professionals who don't have a teaching certificate or a degree in education internships. And it can be people from our community that, that have a bachelor's degree but don't have an education uh, endorsement. They can come in and do that inter internship as well. Uh, we, we have people apply and then we select and, and there's anywhere from 6 to 12 that we have each year that will do that internship. The state gives us some flexibility under alternative certification. So there will be professionals in the community. Maybe you're a chemist, but you're drawn to the classroom. We can figure out through the state how to make you a teacher. Of course, pay has always been one of the deterrents. The starting salary in Sioux Falls is just over $37,000. But for some, it's not about the pay. It's about priorities and passion like it was for Cook. She's now working for her husband in property management. She's worried about the teacher shortage and how it's affecting classroom sizes. My daughter's teacher is just, she's so burnt out every day. It's, there's so many demands and um, the lower kids, just meeting all of the expe expectations of these kids is impossible with that large of class. Something needs to change because that's, it's crazy in there every day. Don Jorgensen reporting. According to a report by the Economic Policy Institute, the United States is short about 110,000 teachers, and that number is expected to double by 2025.